Hello YouTubers, now today we're going to talk about clutches. We've got a 03 Toyota Corolla 1.4 VVTi behind us, clutch is gone. Shouldn't be the hardest of ones, I'm going to regret saying that, but anyway. Now, important thing, obviously with clutches, you kind of have to buy them new unfortunately. And you have to buy the whole system. Now technically, this is our clutch plate. The only thing that's gone in this car is the clutch plate, because it's slipping. But, this is the pressure plate. The springs and the pressure plate would have gone weak over time. So, you could really just get away with changing this, but you're really wasting your time. So buy the whole kit. You get a pressure plate, a clutch, and the bearing. Now, there we go. That's the bearing. Now again, and this has uh, the hydraulic bearing on the outside, or the hydraulic cylinder on the outside of the gearbox, which is, I think is better because if that does ever leak, you can change it. You don't get that in the kit, but you don't need it. Uh, they never really go wrong. It's the ones inside the gearboxes that go wrong. So anyway, that's our three-piece clutch kit. This is our motor. And uh, what I'm gonna do first is, I'm gonna do work on the top get ready to lift it up. Now, things about clutches is, it's like anything, um, it really is best to get things out of your way to make it easier. Obviously, uh, there's work to do underneath the car and top of the car, but I like to do everything on top first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the air filter, remove the battery, um, there'll be a few clips and wires and stuff and clip them off and move them out of the way. Uh, so, first off, we will get to move the air filter out of the way. This should just pop off clip on down there so uh, we we'll get cracking with that a couple of screwdrivers a couple of tools socket sets sorted so what we do take off the air filter box the air filter and remove Put this side too tight. That clip is completely loose and yet this thing won't come off. So we have to just lightly lever it off. Or force it off. Throttle cable, don't really have to take that away. Now a couple of clips on here, obviously the airflow meter can be removed. Now, the thing you have to be careful of now is, obviously, you, when we started disconnecting airflow meters and stuff like that, you don't really want to be turning this back on because obviously you're going to throw an engine light up. So just be aware of a few things like that, which can save yourself problems in the long run. So, Completely take it off, just one pipe left on it, but it's out of my way, that's the most important thing. Uh, three 10mm bolts to take off the bottom of the uh, 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 box. Now I'm going to use air tools because one, I've got a compressor, and two, it's so much quicker. Now, what I tend to do with things like this. is obviously you've got a few bolts here, you've got the clip from it and the air filter. Keep everything kind of together in one place. So I've got all the bolts and stuff in there so you know that it belongs with there and you don't have loads of bolts all mixed up and everything around. Now, because I've taken off that, I can obviously now see the engine or the gearbox mount here. I'll show you in a second. And um, obviously everything else, but what you also need to do is take off the battery because 
you have to take off. Well, you don't. You don't. You don't have to disconnect the wires on the start motor, but you have to certainly take the start motor away from the gearbox. And the battery does just get in the way. But again, when you take out battery in the car, just remember you could lose your radio codes and stuff like that. So something to be aware of. So we'll whip this off. Keep it all together in one place, can't lose the parts then. Now I shouldn't really do this, I'm just being lazy. And now our battery's out of the way. Dog can see the rabbit. Now as you can see, we've got the engine, well the gearbox mount here and obviously we can see all the uh, gear linkages, we can see the, uh, all the clips and stuff so you can see a lot more now the bits are out of the way but obviously we don't take off oh, we don't take off this engine mount yet till the gearbox mount so I'm going to do work now on the top so, sorry, now underneath so I'm going to lift her up and start uh, taking off stuff from underneath Now as you can see we're underneath it now. All I've done is took, taken off the wheel and there was a plastic guard here and I've just removed it. That's all I've done. So what I like to do now is enter the oil because obviously we have to take the two drives out and if we don't empty oil first, it's just going to go everywhere. So this is the, the, the drain plug and the filler plug for the oil is just up here. They're two 24 mil um, things so, and they look completely different to everything else. So you can't really go wrong. Uh, this can be very messy. As you can see, I've just dropped the bolt in the oil. Nice. Now, if you take, if you actually take off the um, the other one as well, it will come out a lot quicker. But obviously, I can't do that now because the things on the ground. Ah, sorry about you two. We had to end that quite quickly because someone came in. I think I'm a garage or something. It's ridiculous. How dare they come in when I'm filming? Hey. So I just drain all the oil. I just want to put the sump, well, the, the, the drain plug back because be careful because you can easily break that. Just because I know it's in there and it's a thing you can easily forget about. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the drives next. Um, so basically you've got two drives, one on each side. The driver's one's always longer because obviously the gearbox is on the passenger side. So we're going to take off the drive and it looks like the old CV boot's gone as well but won't worry about that yet. So take off the drive both sides and um, I'll turn the video back on and basically the way I'm going to do it, so simple, um, well I'll show you. Now what I'm going to do is take off the CV, boint, CV boot, CV joint bolt even, 32mm long reach socket. Next thing we're going to do is take off the suspension and hopefully as you can see you can see that with two bolts holding the suspension on and then basically the front hub will just come towards us so they look like 19s and they are 19s Yeah, gone on one side and the spine on the other. And it's good just to keep them back together like that again so you can't really lose them. Same again. There you go. Now, second one done. Sorry about if you can't really see properly because obviously I'm hearing again today so kind of difficult to get all the angles right but I take out this second bolt and have a wiggle as you can see what happens is the hole 
stub axle. I'll see that. It hasn't, there's something stopping it. What is it? Could be the ABS. Yeah. The ABS uh, wire now is stopping me. So I'm going to take off that 13 mil. 14 mil. release the bracket as you can see this is basically now falling forward that will give me enough room to take out this as you can see I hope this is coming through now as you can see I've just taken out that CV joint from the hub what I am going to do is get a cable tie and just hook up back uh, we can even put a bolt in if I can get a bolt be careful we don't put a lot of pressure on that ABS wire. Now, you can just shove a bolt back in, just for the time being, just to hold it. Now, just put a bolt back in just to hold it. The nut on the other side, just hand tight, just stops anything happening with it. Now to take the cup out the gearbox, which is here. Now, depending on what car you have, these come off different ways. Some cars they're bolted on, some cars they just slip off. Um, there's, there's just a few different ways. Sometimes the cup stays on and you just uh, release the, the boot here and it slides off. But this one, the whole thing comes out. So I've just got a big lever bar. You have to be careful. And I'm just literally putting it behind the actual cup of the drive shaft and just gently levering it to pull it out. Let's see if I can get it in. Now, as you can see, I just got it in, pulled it, and the whole drive now is out of my hand. And the thing is, because we drain the oil first, all the oil isn't out. Sorted. As you can see, inside there, where that hole is, that's where the uh, drive was. Above it, you can see all the gear linkages cables. And obviously, we've got all the bolts here as well. That's the suspension in the hub. So, now, as you can see, this is the other drive. It's a lot longer. Um, so, there you go. Now I'm going to leave this for part one, obviously there's going to be a few parts with this, don't want it to be too long and boring. So part two will be coming up, and uh, yeah, look, hope it helps. Thumbs up and subscribe to the video, and if you get, get your hands dirty, see you for the next one.